Seldom is the spotlight so fixed on the Bank of England governor. Even more rarely does Mervyn King speak so frankly about how Britain's banks are run. But soon he'll be responsible not just for setting the interest rate, but the rules and regulations governing the entire banking sector. And in an interview with the Daily Telegraph, he questioned its morals, saying if it's possible for financial services firms to make money out of gullible or unsuspecting customers, particularly institutional customers, they think that is perfectly acceptable. The future is uncertain for Britain's biggest banks. Will they have to split from their riskier investment arms? Will they be broken into smaller, more competitive banks? All will be decided by the government's banking commission. But King says that the too-big-to-fail problem has not been solved and that another crisis could be caused by imbalances that are growing once again. The seeds are certainly there, so long as we don't have legislation for closing down banks. Whether they're growing, I don't know, but there's certainly a risk of that with the cheap money that's being pumped into banks at the moment. And that's being pumped in by the Bank of England? Or being and, and other central banks around the world, yes. That cheap money, the other reason that King is under the spotlight. Keeping the interest rate at half a percent is blamed for inflation now running at an unhealthy 4%. He accepts there's a perfectly reasonable case for raising it now, but won't say when he will, warning that doing so too soon would be futile. Tigan Mike, Sky News.